And I pulled them back uh, home at night and uh, like I had my three, first threesome. So it was like, honestly, like the whole day, it was like a, like a dream. Like, a, like I wasn't believing how easy or, or, or what was happening. Basically. So you went- even it, it was, okay. it was really, like, yeah, it was really awkward for me because like, like I, I, I only got laid once. So like the second time as a threesome, I had no idea what, what like, what am I supposed to do or how, how to focus or where to go. Or, yeah, it was just, uh, just weird. Yeah. So you literally, you literally went from one lay count to having a threesome. So you like, you tripled your lay count on your, on yeah. your of closing. It was, like it was life changing. Like right now, whenever, like whenever I want to apply something in business, for example, or, or, or uh, like anything in life, I start appreciating or start understanding how important it is to choose the right mentor. Yeah. Because really like the, the right blueprint, basically, or the right script to do something that would make so much like things way, way too easier for you. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we have uh, David, who is preferring to remain anonymous. Uh, he wants to tell a story about how he was able to sleep with five new girls in one and a half weeks on my eight-week mentorship program, and also how he got his first threesome uh, after doing a Tinder profile overhaul, as I instruct. Okay, so welcome, David. You can give a little uh, background about yourself and, and where your results were currently at uh, before starting my training. Uh, uh, thanks, John. So basically, yeah, um, like I, I watch your videos uh, and I and I relate it to you a lot because I also come from a scientific uh, background uh-huh. and I believe waking up girls should be something uh, systematic. Uh, before that, I did read a couple of books and I did take a couple of uh, courses from random uh, coaches, but honestly, they were way too complicated and it, like everyone was teaching something different and uh, like results weren't really working that good. So I only had one day count uh, before the course. Oh, she, she went from, wow. Okay. I, I forgot. that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you, you ended up, after you plugged into my system, you, you ended up getting five lays really quickly. So you're almost a virgin. Yeah. 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 Like I, I was literally almost a virgin. And, and who, then, whose uh, courses did you take before? So I, I read Corey Wayne's uh, book. Uh, I took a course with the Joe, um, uh, with uh, Bobby Bi- Rio or some, I forgot Bobby his Rio. name. Bobby Rio, yeah. And then I also did like read a couple of books, but honestly, I don't even remember the what it was named. Okay, so then none of that really helped very much. Uh, no, I think they just made things honestly more complicated. Okay, yeah, that's what I tell guys. And, and, a lot of the time, that most and, of the methods out there massively overcomplicate. Yeah, and the thing is, like, not, none of them had like like a systematic approach or some, or basically like a like something that I can take action with. So it's mostly like just words or advice, but once once I'm taking the action, it's just confused because I, I don't know what to do with this. Yep. Okay. And then how did things change with, with my stuff? So when I started the course, of course, I started with the online uh, first. And uh, so I finished, like I, I finished everything regarding the online and, and the flow chart and the texting techniques and all of that. And then I took a couple of uh, good photos as recommended with the photo shoot. And then after sending for reviews and uh, even using the face app, literally like the second day that I matched with a couple of uh, girls, I just sent them the exact scripts that you were, you were telling me. Like it, it almost felt like, for example, like I can even automate it or use an AI. Like there was no need to. Yeah, like, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. like it works no matter what your reply is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, so let, me, <laughs> let me just stop you for a second. So, so what he's talking about is, is he went through a process. I have guys, they have average pictures on Tinder. Most guys aren't getting results like that. I have guys get a pro mm-hmm. shoot, so it upgrades the pictures. Then I have a team of uh, attractive girls pick the top five. Then we apply uh, aesthetic upgrades like face app and stuff. And then they're just plugging into a series of copy paste uh, flowchart text scripts. That's the same ones that I'm using. And I built those around the time that I hit a thousand girls when I had about ten thousand phone numbers on my phone. But I built them as like deductive compliance ladders, where it doesn't really matter what the girl responds. So you plugged into those scripts, and yeah, what, what happened next? So literally, like I like I put all the pictures uh, at night, and then I slept, and then the next morning uh, I matched with a couple of girls, and one of them I just went through the, uh, which was the wine one, and she told me like, "Are you free now? We can hang out, and I have a friend. If you can get one of your friends too." So I told her, "Yeah, sure, I can. I can come now." And uh, so I, I went there and I asked my friends, but no one, like no one, was ready to just hang out instantly. Uh, and then I picked them up, and there were two girls, and we hanged out a bit. 
Uh, and then they were like, we really had a lot of fun. And then they were telling me like, forget it. it's just going to be the three of us. And I pulled them back uh, home at night and uh, like I had my first threesome. So it was like, honestly, like the whole day, it was like a, like a dream. Like, uh, like I wasn't believing how easy or, or, or what was happening basically. So you went, even if it was, okay, it was really, like, yeah, it was really awkward for me because like, like I, I, I only got laid once. So like the second time as a threesome, I had no idea what, what, like, what am I supposed to do or how, how to focus or where to go. Or, yeah. It was just, uh, just weird. Yeah. So you literally, you literally went from one lay count to having a threesome. So you like, you tripled your lay count on your, on your <laughs> of closing. Yeah. And then, and okay, so that, so that was awesome. And how was that experience? Like, like it, it was really, uh, like, I, I still remember, and I still tell it, I'm telling it to my friends. Like, I, I literally felt as if I was in a dream. <laughs> uh, yeah. What was it? Was it awesome? <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was like it was life changing. Like right now, whenever like whenever I want to apply something in business, for example, or a course, or uh, like anything in life, I start appreciating or start understanding how important it is to choose the right mentor. Yeah, it's really like the the right blueprint, basically, or the right script to do something. It would make so much like things way too, way too easier for you. Yep, that's why that's why I always bash on all these other coaches because like ninety five percent of the industry is just putting out like nonsense like internet marketing stuff or, or woo woo feel good stuff or fluff content and so a lot of stuff that doesn't lead to any results so okay and then what happened after the congratulations you got your first threesome it's funny because i have a, i have a friend visiting in, in florianopolis right now who's like 400 lay count and he's never had a threesome and i always joke i always bust on him i'm like dude you yeah. he, he, like, he pulled a hot blonde chick from the mall like he's, he's already he's banging a bunch of hot chicks here but um, he's never had a threesome. So congratulations on that. And then, okay. So then, um, you got another, I guess, another three girls. Um, yeah. pretty so how, walk us through that. How did that happen? So I, I got another few girls also. And, uh, one of them was, was from day game and two from them was from night, uh, online. And it, it all happened within like a week and a half. But the thing is, I don't like, I don't, I own my own place, but my, uh, like my family lives with me. So I can't pull them to my own place and I always have to get an Airbnb. And where I live, it's pretty expensive. So like literally within the first week and a half, I like I was, uh, I went kind of broke. Okay. And uh, I, had, I had to like slow things a bit and I'm starting to be incredibly picky because if I'm going to take like an, like if I'm going to rent a place, it really has to be like a, like a nine or an uh, or a eight or a 10 uh, to, to rent a place for her. Okay. But other than, slowing things a bit until I find like the logistics. Uh, yeah, so, for- yeah. So, so you live with your parents and, and you had a logistical difficulty where, um, just to, yeah, to, yeah. to re- summarize that, like basically like where, where you can't bring people back there, you had to rent Airbnbs, you were able to get five closes, including the three sums. So the three sum and then three other closes, uh, you said two night mm-hmm. games, a day game or two. No, so nothing, nothing until now from night because, uh, it's closed. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, two, two day game and two online. Yeah. Yeah. Or sorry, well, just one, one, one day, and the rest are online. One so day. one day, uh, four online days. Okay, but then after uh, after that one and a half weeks, it was just not cost effective to keep running Airbnb. So that's like what slowed you down. So it wasn't yeah. it wasn't any skills. But it, I, this is just very powerful for, to share with guys. Like I just had a different uh, student on the phone that talked about losing his virginity with a day game pull. And getting five girls in three weeks. This is coming from virginity. You were close to a virgin. You had you had one close before, and then you were able to stack on another five in one and a half weeks. So this is this is unheard of in the in the industry. Like most guys aren't even doing like five girls across like six months or even across a year. So to, yeah. to getting no results and just to plug in and start closing on, at a rapid rate is um is very unheard of. So um what other what other major things uh, helped you? Do you think in order to, to start closing at that rate? Like, so I what? think uh, so. Like mainly, mainly, honestly, online is the uh, like I think I think probably the pictures and the bio helped uh, helped a lot, and the scripts, as I said, because usually in the past, with what where I fuck up the most is in texting. Yeah, but with the uh, uh, scripts again it's just really simple uh, and it's really hard to, to fuck things up basically yeah and then the second thing is that like things like for example if in the past if i would go out with a girl and like i would just be nervous because 
I, I don't know what is my next step or I'm not sure what to do next. But yeah. uh, uh, with running through the course, I already know, like I already know, for example, that the date is going to be, I'm going to keep it within an hour. Uh, when am I going to try to pull? Uh, what are my topics going to be about? So things things are so much more relaxed because I already know what am I supposed to do. And instead of just thinking about it uh, in the moment. It's yeah. like, for example, if you're a rapper and you have to freestyle versus already having your script and just saying, like saying, memorizing them basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's re- it's really helpful to know exactly what's what's coming in each next step and, and how to optimally move it forward to the next step. So that way there's not a lot of guesswork because most most guys are having trouble in the game because they're not sure what to do at every, every particular level, right? So they're not sure what to do in the cold approach. They're not sure what to do on the date or over text. And so they just do whatever they think is best. And, and that's oftentimes way off or what, or what these exactly. other people tell them, which is overcomplicated. Yeah. And I remember like one, one of the girls when... Uh, like when I was like closing with her, like she even told me like, like you're acting as if like you, like you're so used to it, like you get it so easy. It's like, I, like I was just adding, acting so confidently that I'm like, I showed her like, this is something normal. Like I get it all the time. Yep. And that's because, that's because I instructed you to keep that as your mindset, right? That you already got the girl that you can get any girl you want, et cetera. Yeah. So that that yeah. mindset yeah. stuff is very powerful. And then, and then they see that in your words in your verbals and your body language, they see that coming through and, and it puts everything in place um, and keeps your confidence very high. And you even, you can tell maybe one more story that the girl that you had uh, that was like a nine and you, we were just going over that on a call uh, to review your progress. And basically you were telling me that you, you put off maybe too much of a player vibe. She was looking for a serious relationship and you, and you, t- she asked you how often you're going on dates and you said basically every day. Yeah. So unfortunately, like the, she was a nine, she was really hot. I, I loved her personality. And she was a girl that I was actually able to invite uh, to my home directly. So we didn't even have a date. And um, she was definitely going to be a, a, a six, like my six lay count, basically. But what I fucked up is that because I, I liked her, I was uh, like I told her, I was I was like, I'm going to be completely honest and open book. And she told me, like, how's, how's your tender experience going? I told her, like, I'm having a date uh, every day. Um, and like she, she couldn't like she was kind of I feel I think disgusted or she thought that I was a player and uh, that's where things like, really fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, yeah, I always tell guys like don't don't advertise that you're, you know, going on lots of dates or or banging lots of girls. Just tell them you're you're pretty busy and and you don't have a whole lot of time to to go on dates. It's not it doesn't usually work in yeah, your yeah. favor to put out put across you know put out that you're a big player. So, okay. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Did you have any other closing thoughts? Once you get your logistics sorted, you should be well on your way again. Once you get your own place in order to, to continue the closing marathon, but yeah. you want to just talk like just how you feel now, like in terms of running the game versus how you felt before you started the, the course. So it's not like, it's like, honestly, how I feel now, it's just not, it's, it's not only about the game. I think it's like in my whole life, because uh, in the beginning, I never, I never thought that these things were that easy or they're, they're that achievable. Mm-hmm. So, for example, now in my business career, like I, for example, I would think that money is something that is really hard to get or getting rich is, uh, is complicated. But if if I could do that with, if I could have the, have a system that could give me results uh, that fast, why why can't I get it? For example, in the gym, or why can't I get it with money? Or why can't I get it for other things? So honestly, like this, like this thing, it's changed. Like it changed my whole perspective about life itself. And it's always showed me how important it is to to have the right mentor and to have to, to have the right system, because some because like it doesn't matter what it, what what it is that you want in life, someone out there has already got uh, gotten it. So why should you go through the process of trying to figure out how to get it when someone else already already did the process basically? And yeah. Just maybe- yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I've I've talked to some guys interested in my program recently over the past week that that want to just go try to figure it out on their own, and I and I tell them like if you were trying to learn another skill game, like say you were trying to learn poker, trying to learn chess. The best way to get very, very good at it wouldn't be to just sit down and play a lot. It would be to go to a grandmaster and learn all the advanced tactics. It would be to go to a top poker player that's that's made millions of dollars and learn all the all the top strategy because they've already went through you know decades of optimization. That's what I've done with the, with this game. Is it 15, 20 years? I show that exponential results progression. And now when I train guys, I'm plugging them into that steep part of the curve. So you know, it's not like you're gaming exactly like on my level, but you're, you're, you're utilizing a lot of the strategies that took me 15 to 20 years to evolve and optimize. Um, your tech, well, the guys that come to my course are texting the same way that I am. I use those exact same texts personally. 
and a lot of the the structure and you know the objection answers and all that stuff that's all like fixed things that, that you're just plugging right into. So even guys that are brand new, that are virgins or that have very little results, they're able to start. You're, you're basically like shortcutting like 15, 20 years and you don't have to go through. There's no point in, in, you know, a lot of guys think there's like a virtue in like figuring out on your own, but not really. You're just trying to reinvent the wheel. Is this going to cause like mass um, inefficiencies and, and lack of results? Right. And, and those, those people that, are trying to figure it out on your own that they've already been trying to figure it out on their own and it didn't lead anywhere. Right. Like continue to do what you've, yeah. always, what you've always done is going to get the same results. So there's a quicker, easier way. It's, it's, and it happens a lot faster than most guys think uh, just literally a matter of one, like the last guy that I brought on uh, with Virgin that did five in three weeks is three weeks time getting five lays. You just got five lays in a, a week and a half after only having one prior to the program. So, <laughs> So it's not, you don't need a thousand nights out. You don't need a thousand approaches and guys always are very skeptical. They're like, well, because RSD always told them they need like years and years of practice, but this is a skill game. You can plug into optimal strategy. And, and, and like, like you said, with the right mentor, um, you, this can be like literally almost an overnight fix. You know, it, it, it's easier said than done, but it happens a lot faster than guys realize in a matter of a couple of short weeks, there's not, you know, years and years of, of practice required. And most of the guys that have been in the community for a long time, I talked to them and a lot of them are between like five and 20 lay count after several years in the game. So like what you did in a week and a half is, you know, a lot of these guys aren't even doing in a year. So, um, yeah. So yeah, congratulations. And I, and I, another thing that I also want to mention, like basically, because until now, I like I did zero night game because night game is closed uh, here. And I know like, like I know that like you you're like you're focused on night game the most. So I honestly like I, I really can't wait until I get my own place and when night game is open, so I can apply these skills. Uh, like I think the next next for example year or something is gonna be insane almost. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Once you have the logistics sorted and you get a little more experience under your belt going through the whole process and beef up, you know, some of the weaker areas, it's going to be game over, right? It's it's not gonna be your fault. <laughs> to do 50 to 100 new girls a year. What, what most guys think is, like you said, you didn't realize it could be so simple. You didn't realize it could be so um, so straightforward, et cetera. Like it, most of the stuff out there on YouTube and these other coachings and products is just massively overcomplicated. Guys are, are really um, making the system like a lot more complicated than it should be. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really happy for you. Did you have any other closing thoughts before we, before we part ways? Uh, no, I think I think I'm all good for now. Okay, so yeah, congratulations. If you guys have interest in in getting results like this, uh, jump on a free 30 minute call, uh, platinumdatingsystem.com. We'll have the link in the description, and I'll tell you how I can get you very good very fast in, in a matter of eight weeks or less. So, thank you so much for coming on and, and sharing your story. And subscribe below, guys, if you've not already, and press the notification bell for new videos every single day. And until next time, thank you, guys. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum